guys, thank you for tuning in. It's your girl Pretty Curves 36 coming at you with another video. And by looking at the image in the video, I'm sure you can already guess what this video was going to be about. Hot oil treatments. So, oops, let me adjust that. So, like I said in the previous videos, I deep condition my hair twice a week. And I like to rotate with my hot oil treatments. So tonight I'm going to do a leave-in hot oil treatment that I'm going to leave in overnight. And what I'm going to be using is very simple. This is a mixture because I'm going to cleanse my hair. And this is just ACV, apple cider vinegar, and half water. And let me just give you a close-up what my hair looking like today. Here you go. So this is the hair with no product in it. Nothing special. So what you want to do is, and this is me, you don't have to do it. But um, I don't shampoo my hair except for once a month. So I like to get in a good cleanse. And if you know anything about the ACV, apple cider vinegar and water, it's very good to cleanse your hair. And if the smell is a little bit too tart for your taste, just add more water in it. And if you're not familiar with the ACV and want me to do a video on it, just let me know. And a little goes a long way. So you're not overpowering your hair. You just want to get it saturated nicely. And how you put your hot oil in depends on you. I like to put my hot oil in on wet hair, fairly damp hair. To me, I get better results. I have done it on dry hair as well. Um, but the wet hair tends to be my favorite. And what I have here is just some regular EVOO and some coconut oil. I mix them two together because I like the softness of my hair when I combine them together. And I don't boil my um, oil and hot water on the stove. What I do is fill up a cup that I don't use with hot water. And I put it in the microwave for two minutes. It gets the water nice and hot. And then I just drop it in there. And I let it sit in there for about two to three minutes. And it gets really hot. So it's good. So once you're done with that, you can just pour that out. You don't want to make a mistake and spill it. Just shake it on up, shake it on up, get a nice good shake because you want them to mix together. Always do a test run. Okay, great. My hands a little sticky. Always do a test run because you don't want to burn your scalp. Hmm. And you just rub it down your arm. That works too. So what I'm gonna do is just take about that much. I don't want to spill it, but you get the general idea. And I just rub it together. And I don't know, when I'm doing products, for some reason, I always start with the back of my hair. I don't know why. Then I'm going to take another scoop. And when you're doing your hot oil treatments, or when you're doing anything to your hair, really, it's a good time for you to examine your hair and see what's going on with it. Whether you haven't shedding, if it's breaking. So like um, I see a little piece of hair on my hand. And I just like to test it to see the, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a little piece of hair. And I like to do the pull test to see. If it pops right back, if it snaps, if it breaks easily, then I know the stage of my hair. So, this is um, pretty healthy. Look at the elasticity in that. That's a nice piece of hair and it's not breaking from my hands. So, I guess I'm just having some normal shedding. 
switch this system. I can't believe I'm two and a half months natural. And this is actually the first time that I'm seeing here shedding. So you can see that. And I just like to play with it, see how it snap back into this form. And that's how you can gauge your hair if you need moisture, if you need a protein treatment. When you're conditioning your hair, washing it, it's a good time for you to examine your hair. I got a lot of little hairs on my hair. So as, as you can see, my hair is very strong. It's not breaking, so that's great. So once you get it in, you just get in the sides good. I'm always concentrating on my edges. I'm not used to having some. So you just get it all rubbed in. I just truly can't believe I'm almost three months natural. Look at this. Look at that. I'm almost going to get a pigtail. Oh, how cool is that? Uh-oh. I'm not trying to have no flashing, okay? So, this is what I do for my hot oil treatments. And then what I'm going to do is just put a plastic bag on my head. Give me one second. You can use the heated caps, which costs like a few bucks. I have to go to the grease supply store, so I'm just going to use the two regular plastic caps. Let me give you guys a close up. This is Sashai. Take a look. See my little tapered thing I got going on back there? And then. I use two so I can get that heat. And that's it. So that's what I do for my hot oil treatment. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, continue to support. Please leave a comment if you like. Um, also, please subscribe. Continue to support. Thank you.